I got my Christmas present much more early than I expected and I got myself another fun pen. So I think it's a good reason to do this kind of video. Welcome, it's your host Amy from Penventure and I like to take the opportunity of recording this video because I have some new fun pens that I want to update everyone upon because my personal collection has been growing for the past few months and before doing the top 10 fun pens of 2020 video, I would like to update you guys on the last pens that I added to my personal collection. And we are going to start with the first one, which was a gift from a very good friend of mine. This is a fun pen that I'm looking for probably for the past two years or so. It is a Omas. And ever since I've seen a few examples and I've seen the first time this fun pen in uh, my hands at the London Pen Show. It was in the collection of Penultimate Dave. It was a Omas Arte Italiana in Arco Bronze Celluloid. That pen is really, really rare and expensive to find in good condition or at least near mint condition. But ever since I've seen it, I've took on the quest of finding one at a decent price. A few weeks ago, uh, I was chatting with Ciro Matrone, uh, Salvador's father from Leonardo of Cina Italiana, and he stumbled upon one of this creation, snapped a few pictures with it and sent me just to tease me. It wasn't a arc or celluloid version, but it was a black resin one which is here and after he showed me those pictures uh, I was very very interested about the fondom band but I've seen that he was prolonging the discussion and taking the conversation somewhere else and didn't want to share too many informations about this fond pen. The next time that I opened the parcel from Leonardo of Cina Italiana, I found this fond pen as a gift from Ciro. Ciro, if you're watching this, thank you very much. And I want to show you guys this gorgeous, splendid fond pen, which I simply like a lot. And of course, it is a very, very interesting running instrument. And I'm gonna tell you why is that. We have a faceted body. I would say that the size is a tiny bit more smaller than I'm used to. It is made out of resin. It has sterling silver trims, a two-tone, and I believe this is a 18 karat 585 gold nib. It is a broad size. And to be honest, uh, recently I've seen that in my personal fun pen collection, I'm missing some broader tips for my nibs. So this fits like a glove. I love this fun pen and I've been using it for the past week or so. And it is amazing. The more I use it, the more I fall in love with this piece. I'm going to do a video review really soon for this fun pen, but Till then, I'm gonna tell you what I have in plan for this pen. It's made out of resin and I'm thinking maybe in the future, I would like to make it a little bit more exotic and customize it, maybe applying some Rushi, playing with some Rodden, or maybe doing something in a remaking of the entire fund pen body in a different material, a celluloid maybe. And this will be the base for such a interesting project. But till then, I'm gonna show you a video review of the pen and how it sits in this condition, which is stock. Well, this is for the first entry in my fun pen collection and as for the second entry i would like to showcase my creation the leonardo momento zero grande thunder celluloid this fun pen was launched a 
few days ago. It was a very, very successful model because it got sold out in 29 hours. Only 10 made a very interesting and new celluloid. We have this beautiful purple celluloid, which looks like a purple Arco. When I launched this model, I made a video overview for this pen. I'm going to link the video up here. You can check that video and see the details on this pen. It's splendid. I adore it. I've been using it. And the more I use this font pen, the more I regret not making more of them because they are simply amazing. We have this super, super big size 8, 14 karat gold nib 585. On my personal pen, I have an extra fine nib. I like it a lot. And hopefully there is enough materials to do something special down the road. Maybe another model from Leonardo maybe a different uh, panel together with someone else who knows it remains to be seen well those are the two updates in my personal font pen collection and i needed to make this video and update everyone upon this pens because currently i am deciding which pens are going to be in my top 10 list probably both of these pens or maybe one will be on that list and I needed to update everyone because they arrived in my personal collection. Well, this is what I have for you guys and there is no pens that are leaving the collection. So down below you will find the entire list for my fun pen collection. I'm going to list these two pens down below as well. In a few days, I will record and upload my top 10 pens of 2020 video. And you will have a lot of surprises on that list, which font pens I will choose to be, and also at which location in that top 10 list and why. This is it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. If you do so, Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Penventure YouTube channel by clicking here and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from myself and Penventure, click on this video and enjoy. My name is Emmy, and I look forward to seeing you next video.